Okay, good morning, everyone. And thank you all for being here today. Stand right in the middle, Chief Rocha, out of uniform, which is odd. So yes, Councilman, um, do we have, do we have anyone else? Yes, yes. yes let's, let's pull them up. Yeah. Hi, good morning, Peter. Yes, so let's wait for the council. Yes, here they come. Okay, so we have a very special uh, proclamation today. Uh, it's a certificate of commendation for the obvious, the years and, and the legacy that our dear beloved Chief Rocha is leaving um, behind, but starting a new exciting chapter. Yes, sir. So this letter of commendation is to recognize Robert Rocha's outstanding efforts during his tenure as fire chief of the Corpus Christi Fire Department. Chief Rocha's innovative leadership and the example he has set has proven instrumental in critical improvements, successes, and accomplishments for both the city of Corpus Christi and the Corpus Christi Fire Department. Whether it be emergency response, as in the case of Hurricane Harvey, in which uh, fire department resources and personnel were utilized to assist neighboring jurisdictions or the COVID-19 crisis, which gave birth to the mayor's, uh, the Save Our Seniors at Home Vaccination Program that delivered over 12,000 vaccines. Chief Rocha was there leading his team to help increase resources and personnel every step of the way. Growing from a department of 414 when he arrived in 2011 to now, 446 upon his departure. Chief Rocha brought in diversity and inclusion as a value through his cooperative leadership between regional, state, and federal partners. And through creation of mutual aid agreements, Chief Rocha brought the creation of the Nueces County Fire Chiefs Association and South Texas Fire Chiefs Association. As president, of the Metropolitan Fire Chiefs Association, Chief Rocha brought a global perspective to our fire department. His focus on the enrichment of our community has been a remarkable example of his dedication. We sincerely thank you, Chief Rocha, for the distinguished service that you have given us. The South Texas community has greatly benefited from your hard work, your determination, and endless efforts to make the fire department better than when you found it. So on behalf of the city of Corpus Christi, thank you for being an unforgettable leader. You know, first and foremost to the, to the mayor and to the city council uh, and to Peter, I think he's here also. You know, these things don't happen by themselves. Success for an organization happens when you have a group of men and women, as we do on the Corpus Christi Fire Department, that work together in order to deliver the highest quality of service. Remember, every citizen in the city of Corpus Christi needs to be treated with dignity and respect. But I wanna thank you, the city council and Peter for the support that you've given the fire department because over the past few years, we've been able to go from nine ambulances to 14 and have a budget now uh, of almost $80 million. And so certainly I, I wanna say thank you to you uh, for your leadership, the city council and to Peter, but especially to the members of the Corpus Christi Fire Department and my family members that are here today. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Chief Rocha. Next, we have a local celebrity. All right, Jason. Jason Grossball. Grossball. 
Jason. Well, I said, we got to get this guy in. And, you know, I was at the movies probably a week before it all happened. And I remember the way he did the popcorn for me. And I thought, well, that's interesting. This is cool. So let me go ahead and read this, and this will tell the whole story. So Jason Grossbull took the internet by storm when an excited moviegoer recorded Jason's popcorn-making skills while waiting in line at Century 16 Theaters. The customer decided to post it to TikTok, where, unbeknownst to him, Jason Grossbull became an overnight sensation. The new viral video shows him elegantly scooping popcorn, mixing it with butter, and twirling the bucket on his fingertips. With over 21,000 comments on the original TikTok, Jason Grossbull has rightfully earned the nickname, The Popcorn Guy. But it doesn't stop there. The viral video caught the attention of famous talk show host Jimmy Kimmel. To make an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live from Corpus Christi to demonstrate to the world his beloved popcorn technique. Once there, Jason Grossball received an unexpected gift. He was invited by Jimmy Kimmel to this year's Oscars award show. That's amazing. Though he is unsure of the details, and who cares about the details you're going? Yeah, it is what it is. You're going. Jason cannot wait to meet some of his favorite actors, uh, stating it will be the experience of a lifetime. Simply amazing. I still can't believe the love and support I've received. I really enjoy spreading happiness and joy to every customer I get to serve. Jason spoke those words about how he feels about being Corpus Christi's famous popcorn guy. As for the future, after a decade of serving popcorn at Century 16 Theaters, Jason Grossball plans to continue to do what it is he loves doing, spreading joy to all the wonderful customers he gets to serve while entertaining with his style of flair. He is and will always be grateful for the incredible people of Corpus Christi who have stopped him to see his skills in person and filled his heart with enduring messages. On behalf of the city of Corpus Christi, congratulations Thank on your you. success. We're proud of you. Thank you. Okay, and our last proclamation, and a very important one, is about National School Counseling Week. And this is something that affects all of our children, so what you do is extremely important, and we're very, very grateful, very grateful, on all levels of school. So, I'll go ahead and read the proclamation. Whereas school counselors are employed in the public and private schools to help students reach their full potential, and whereas school counselors are actively committed to helping students explore their abilities, strengths, interests, and talents, as these traits relate to career awareness and development. And whereas school counselors help parents focus on ways to further the educational, personal, and social growth of their children. And whereas school counselors work with teachers and other educators to help students explore their potential and set realistic goals for themselves. And whereas school counselors seek to identify and utilize community resources that can enhance and complement comprehensive school counseling programs and help students become productive members of society. And whereas comprehensive development school counseling programs are considered an integral part of the educational process that enables all students to achieve success in school. 
So now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim February the 6th through February 23 National School Counseling Week in Corpus Christi and commend its observance to all citizens. And I'd like to say, probably most of many of you hopefully feel or have had that experience, but I'll never forget my counselor in high school, ever, Mr. Burks. And then I see him at the gym now. But he, he's wonderful. And what he provided, whether you went in there to talk about school, your personal life, your friends, or what was going on, they were always and have always been someone that a student can go to. And to me, that's the most important thing because everyone plays a role and counselors play such a great, great role. So thank you for everything that you do because I know that you put forth more than you have to in that position. Thank you so much. On behalf of our Region 2 counselors, we would like to thank you, Mayor, and our council members for this recognition. The work is truly hard work, but so very important. Um, so the recognition that our counselors will receive and the chance to recognize them for the important work they do is truly um, so appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all for it. Susie and Sandy, they were driving in from uh, King. So everybody else is here. Hmm? Just don't bring up any. No, you don't have to. Everybody else is here. Okay, great. So at this time, I'd like to ask those individuals in the audience who are uh, here to be sworn in uh, to please come forward. If you're here to be sworn in for a board, commission, committee, or a corporation, please join me here in the um, in the well. And for everyone else, I'd just like to explain that these individuals have been appointed by the city council to serve on one of the city's boards, commissions, committees, or corporations. We really appreciate their willingness to volunteer their time to serve the city in this manner. And uh, we ask, um, well, we thank you. <laughs> we thank you all. And, and, and just we know, please know that, that we very much, the council very much appreciates the work, the time, um, the effort that you're going to put forth on on all the different committees that you're on, um, because that does come up the chain, and we really do rely on that heavily. So thank you. So at this time, um, what I, I, if you'll step forward or raise your hand when I call your name, we have Mariah Boone. with She'll be on Crime Control and Prevention District. Mariah, thank you for serving. Marshall, Marshall Tong on Crime Control and Prevention District. Is Marshall with us? Oh, Marshall's not with us. Okay. Uh, Eli McKay, okay, Eli McKay is Capital Investments Advisory Committee. Thank you, Eli. <laughs> Chad Skrabarczyk, Capital and in, uh, Invest Improvements Advisory Committee. Jonathan Gonzalez, Capital Improvements Advisory Committee. Armand Alex, Watershore and Beach Advisory Committee. And David <laughs> Zill, Watershore and Beach Advisory Committee. So if you would each please raise your right hand and repeat after me. And state your own name. I... Do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the duties of a member of the board to which I have been appointed and upon which I am about to enter and will do to the best of my ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States and of this state, and of this city, so help me God. Congratulations. Thank you for serving. Thank you for serving. Thanks for serving. Thanks for serving. Thank you for serving. Thank you, Eli. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> 